modern aircraft are more computers than they are conventional aircraft. We're trying to get students up to speed with concepts like what software-defined hardware is, what common software architectures are, and what the benefits and limitations of AI are. What's been interesting here for me personally is to hear from researchers here at the school what the next generation, what the next iteration of this technology looks like in terms of the computational power, the speed, and even the kinds of algorithms that are being explored here at Stanford. The idea behind this course is to really enrich the education of the test pilot school to apply data-driven techniques towards their profession. The Department of the Air Force AI Studio here on campus is a partnership that exists between the Air Force and the School of Engineering, primarily the Aero Astro Department. We've taken a quarter-long class and compressed it into a week. We're talking about data curation and what are the machine learning techniques that you can apply to that to generate the kind of outputs that you want. Some of it is making models and some of it is creating machine learning algorithms. A really important designing principle when we're thinking about autonomy is not how to replace airmen or guardians or people. It's really about how to maximize the human cognition that they have. They're coding these turtle bots, which are little robots with motors, a LiDAR and a camera to autonomously navigate a course and identify a traffic light, drive to it, and then identify a stop sign, drive to it and stop. And the idea is that engaging with these hardware activities gives them hands-on experience with robotic architectures and understanding the inner workings of these systems. On the Air Force side, we provide them with access to the latest and greatest from the field of AI and robot autonomy that they will be using as part of their curriculum and their training to improve their capabilities. And on the Stanford side, is a unique opportunity to get a better appreciation of the challenges that are faced by the Air Force. Watching the students learn this material from leading edge scientists and engineers here at Stanford and then apply that directly to hands-on systems and grow and learn essentially this whole new way of thinking is really exciting.